Grand Theft Auto, one of the most controversial video games ever made. And after 10 years, Rockstar Games released the trailer to GTA 6. <laughs> Well, they kind of had to after the leak anyway. In three days, it broke over 100 million views and set the internet on fire. Now, most people were excited for the trailer and its upcoming release, especially when you see the graphics, yo. It is legit badass. But there was another group of people who became outraged. Xiao Tsai Hong. This time, it's not just Zuo Pai, yo. It's Yo Pai as well. Grand Theft Auto 6 is so controversial, it actually united both of these groups to cancel it. So today, we're gonna find out how bad can it be? Now, because Rockstar Games is super strict about using its trailer material, we can't show you footage from it, yo. But bruh, if you're not one of the 100 million people who've seen this trailer, go do that right now and come back. Do it! So the first outrage comes from the anti-wokies who try to find wokeness in every little thing. This time, it comes from a major account with nearly 300,000 followers. First look at GTA 6, female protagonist. She is rumored to be transgender. And of course, people responded in kind. If that's true, the game will flop, I promise. Go woke and you will go broke. Follow us if you agree. Clearly this one is just trolling for followers. Really? Y'all are pushing the trans agenda in GTA now? Boycotted. Now Twitter tagged this post, claiming that there was no evidence to support its claim, but this account clapped back, citing a Reddit thread of all things. Are you serious? And then Twitter came back, saying that citing a Reddit thread is not a credible source. And after that, Twitter came after that account hardcore. Kept a lot. It's a female and male protagonist. It's been common knowledge for a year now. She's not transgender, lol. These people will make up anything. Why you gotta put these fake agendas? So as you can see, for once, Twitter wasn't buying into the propaganda. But where Twitter was whining about gender and sexuality, the YouTube comments were whining about race. This is white replacement theory. George Soros says hi. Not a single white person in this trailer. Big surprise. Are you dumb? Clearly, the people making comments like these have never been to Miami, dog. Because anyone who has knows that the GTA 6 trailer plays out more like found footage, yo. It's true. Fun fact, the population of Miami is made up of 58% immigrants, with 45% that are white and 11% of them are Jewish, yo. The stats themselves represent white replacement. I see brown people. So where the fake outrage grievances were on the right, now let's look at the whining on the left. According to the trailer, GTA 6 marks the first time in its history that it apparently may have a female lead. Although the trailer shows a male partner in crime as well. you think that having a female lead might help its DEI score, but according to woke news outlets and Twitter, Rockstar is just virtue signaling and its fans are sexist and racist. <gasps> People really being sexist because GTA 6 gonna have a woman as a main character. Wow. This pattern of relegating female characters to damsels in distress perpetuates the notion that women are secondary to the male leads, contributing to the game's overall misogynistic undertones. Fuck off. Now, as you can see, both sides pretty much have their NPC complaints in line with their political party affiliations. But there is one issue that both left and right Xiao Tai Hong agree on. This game should be canceled. Not because of the gender, not because of the race, and not even because of the brown people or lack of white people, but because of the violence and immorality. It's something demonic. That's right, the same BS that our grandparents used to tell us about the Dungeons and Dragons board game and even Mortal Kombat. These games will rot your brain and cause you to become degenerate. Even Hillary Clinton back in the day called on the federal government to investigate Grand Theft Auto to see if there were hidden sex images that would be peddled to our kids and have them hypnotized to commit crimes. Uh, we are determined to stop a situation in which video games with graphic and violent content are being peddled to our children. Violent video games increase aggressive behavior as much as lead exposure decreases children's IQ scores. <laughs> now, in present day, one unexpected detractor was the real-life Iron Man, Elon Musk. When a tweet posted listing the games that the user hadn't played yet warranted a reply from Elon. Tried, but didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. And Twitter lit his ass up. 
They're pixels, dog. Elon, three minutes into the prologue mission when the cops show up. But you still support war crimes, right? Elon, the type of dude to follow the speed limit in GTA. <laughs> Seriously, bruh, aren't you trying to invade Mars? If you can't shoot a cop made of pixels in a video game, how the hell are you gonna deal with the Martians, yo? But it wasn't just him. Self-proclaimed tough guy Andrew Tate and his brother came out against it as well. New GTA 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This is a genuine question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11. Playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. I just don't think that's good for society. With all the amazing graphics and engines and whatever people put into these video games, I feel like you could create a better objective with the game. Maybe you are the police officer. Maybe you are trying to stop... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Karen. Criminals. <laughs> Sorry. Stop bullshitting me! Yo, you guys literally look like characters in GTA. You wear sunglasses indoors, you smoke cigars, have multiple women, pimp out girls, allegedly. Oh, and you're both being watched by the feds and have been charged with female relocation. You know what the deal is, YouTube centers. Forming an organized crime group and even the R word. It runs a grape! Your lives are GTA, dude. Not Grand Theft Auto, Grand Tate Auto. Good one. And then you've got the left wing media outlets with pieces like, I'm no prude, but GTA 6 should give us calls for concern. And this article goes on to theorize that people engaging in explicit content could go out to commit illegal activities. One person in the comments trolled this author perfectly. You sneer, but these games are dangerous. I used to be a normal, well-adjusted person, but ever since playing GTA, I have found it difficult to stop myself from grabbing people from their cars at traffic lights and stealing the car, and I'm not always successful. Also, since San Andreas, I now find that I beat up my hookers more often than I pay them. Stop it. Get some help. Awesome. So all this begs the question, can video games really cause people to commit acts of violence? I mean, there was that one incident 10 years ago where an eight year old was playing GTA and later picked up a gun and uh, deleted his grandmother. So that would be proof, right? No. It turns out the jury is already in on that one. There have been countless studies that show that there is zero evidence to suggest that violent video games inspire violent crimes or even increase aggression in young boys. I'd say you'd have a better chance being influenced by something on Thole, even like those kids who went into care for and tried to burn it down than playing GTA. And as you can see, although this game has zero gameplay release and is not even coming out until 2025, there are still some people out there who are desperately trying to make it into something that it isn't. And here's a suggestion. Maybe next time, wait until you know something before you say something. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Until then, go back and play GTA 5, but not until you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace.